In this procedure, you will learn how to position and drape the patient for examination of the back and for certain surgical procedures. Greet and introduce yourself to the patient. Good morning, Jennifer. I'm Julie, Dr. Anderson's medical assistant. Uh, before we get started, can I get your name and date of birth? Sure. Jennifer Jansen, June 23rd. Then confirm the patient's identity using her name and date of birth. Great. Sanitize your hands. Has Dr. Anderson examined your back before? Yes, she did last time I was in. Determine whether the patient understands the procedure. If the patient does not, explain what to expect. So you're familiar with what's going to be going on and we'll need to get you into the proper position for that exam. Give the patient a gown and explain what clothing must be removed for this particular examination. Tell the patient that the gown should open in the back. But before we do that, I'm going to have to have you undress and put the gown on with the opening down the back. Provide assistance as needed. Do you need any assistance with that? No, I think I'll be fine this time. Great. I'll give you some privacy. Thanks. Give the patient privacy while changing. Knock on the examination room door before re-entering to make sure the patient has completed undressing and gowning. Come in. I'm ready. Hi, Jennifer. How are you doing today? Good, thing. Do not place the patient in the prone position until the provider is ready for that part of the examination. Okay, I'm going to be examining you back today, Jennifer, and Julie will help get you into the correct position. Pull out the table extension and instruct or help the patient to lie down on her stomach. And then I'm going to need you to roll over okay, onto your stomach. To provide her warmth and privacy, drape the patient over any exposed area that is not included in the examination. For female patients, the drape should be large enough to cover from the breasts to the feet so that the patient is not exposed accidentally if she is asked to roll over. After the examination has been completed, assist the patient as needed to get off the table and get dressed. You need some help with that? Yes, my back hurts a bit. All right. Push this in. I'm going to go ahead and sit up. There we go. Can I help you with anything else? No, I think I'm fine. Thank All you. All right. I'll give you some privacy. Okay. Before cleaning the exam table, put on a pair of disposable gloves. Dispose of used examination table paper according to facility policies. To prevent the transmission of pathogens from one patient to another, use disinfectant wipes to clean the exam table and all potentially contaminated surfaces. Then dispose of your used gloves. Once the exam table is dry, Pull clean paper over it. When you're finished, sanitize your hands. Follow up with the provider's orders regarding scheduling of diagnostic studies, collection of specimens, and or scheduling of future appointments.